Good day everybody, my name is Konrad the Guide. Welcome back for another video where I try to tell you interesting things about the places I visit. Today we're riding one of South Africa's most iconic coastal routes, the peninsula route towards the south of Cape Town. So buckle up, hold on tight and let's explore this amazing part of South Africa together. This is uh, Moisenberg. Muesenberg is located on the False Bay coast. It's not just a beautiful beach town. It's a place with a rich history and vibrant culture. Let's dive into some interesting facts while we cruise the streets. Muesenberg is surrounded by stunning natural beauty. To the north we've got the Sandflay Estuary Nature Reserve, a haven for bird watchers and nature lovers. You can spot a variety of bird species and even go kayaking and sailing in the estuary. Here we have Meusenberg Beach, known for its iconic multicolored beach huts. This spot is a paradise for surfers. Right here is the surfer's corner, it's one of the best places to learn how to surf. The gentle consistent waves makes it perfect for beginners. Did you know that Meisenberg is considered the birthplace of surfing in South Africa? That's right, surfing was introduced here as early as 1919. You can see how many people like to come and either learn to surf or just enjoy the surf. So this uh, is called the Surfer's Corner, where all the surfers like to come and uh, hang out. Quite a few nice bars and restaurants and pubs. A few uh, surf shops where you can buy all your surfing equipment. The Musenberg railway station, which we just passed on the left, opened in 1882 and played a crucial role in making this town accessible to visitors. And let's not forget about the Battle of Musenberg in 1795, which marked the beginning of British control over the Cape Colony. Here we are cruising along the Musenberg Mile, a beautiful stretch that's perfect for a leisurely walk or ride. If you're ever here, make sure to try the local seafood. It's some of the best you'll ever have. Meusenberg is also known for its Shark Spotters program, a pioneering initiative that uses a combination of lookouts and technology to keep swimmers and surfers safe from sharks. The Shark Spotters are stationed at various points along the coast, and they use flags to signal shark activity. It's a great example of how the community works together to ensure everybody's safety. Whether you're here to surf, soak up some history or just enjoy some stunning views, this town has something for everyone. St. James! <laughs> yeah, here we're getting to St. James, a small picturesque suburb located between Mosenberg and Kalk Bay. It's known for its stunning views and rich history. This place has a lot to offer. St. James also has these uh, vibrant beach huts and they are not only here for show, they are a beloved feature of the Western Cape coastline and have been here for decades. And check out that tidal pool, it's a great spot for safe swimming, especially for families with kids. Did you know that the tidal pool was built in the early 1900s? It's been a favorite spot for locals and visitors alike ever since. James was also once a popular holiday destination for wealthy Cape Town residents during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. 
Many of these beautiful homes and buildings date back to that area, giving St. James a unique, timeless charm. The suburb is named after St. James Catholic Church, which was established in 1858 and still stands today. Here we are cruising along St. James's walkway, a beautiful path that runs along the coastline, offering stunning views of False Bay. It's perfect for a leisurely walk or run, and you might even spot some marine life like seals or dolphins or even whales if you're lucky. One of the best things about St. James is its close proximity to Kalk Bay, a vibrant fishing village known for its bohemian vibe. The walk from St. James to Kalk Bay is a popular route that offers breathtaking views and plenty of photo opportunities. Don't forget to check out the tidal pools and rock formations along the way. If you're into hiking, you're in for a treat. The nearby mountains offer some fantastic trails, like the Boys Drive Path, which provides panoramic views of False Bay. It's a great way to experience the flora and fauna of the region up close. Yeah, this is Cog Bay. It's uh, known for being the last working fishing harbors in South Africa, and it's been a vital part of the community for over a century. Watching the fishermen bring in their catch of the day is a real treat. You can even buy fresh fish directly from the boats and enjoy it at one of the local seafood restaurants nearby. Kalk Bay is also rich in culture and history. The Kalk Bay Theatre is located in an old Dutch reformed church. It's a must visit for live performances and dinner shows. The village is dotted with historic buildings, each with its own history. Many of these structures date back to the 19th century, reflecting Kalk Bay's diverse cultural heritage. And uh, here in Kalk Bay is also some uh, tidal pools where you can come and swim. These tidal pools offer stunning views of the ocean. Dale Brook and Woolies tidal pools are local favorites. The rocky coastline is great for exploring and finding hidden spots to relax and soak up the sun. And for nature lovers, you're in for a treat. Kalk Bay is surrounded by some incredible hiking trails. The hike up to Echo Valley or Boomswang Cave offers breathtaking views of the Falls Bay and surrounding mountains. Very beautiful little village. As we ride through the main street, you'll notice Kalk Bay's unique charm. It's filled with quirky shops, vintage stores and cozy cafes. Whether you're looking for antiques, handmade crafts or just a great cup of coffee, this place has it all. The eclectic mix of shops makes it the perfect spot for a leisurely stroll and some window shopping. So obviously this is a very popular route for bikers or for cyclists because of the beautiful views. Normally the traffic is also a little bit calmer here for uh, cyclists. And this little bay here it's called Fishhook. Fishhook or Fishhook as the locals call it is a charming seaside village located on False Bay, known for its safe swimming beach and friendly community. Fishhook is a favorite destination for both locals and visitors. Yeah, this is uh, Fishhook Bay, the uh, town of Fishhook. Uh, it's also a popular fishing little town. Beautiful views, often you can see whales and dolphins here in the bay. And there across we have uh, Simonstown, that's where we will be heading next. Uh, this is called uh, False Bay. There across the bay you have uh, uh, Cape Hunklip. Uh, absolutely beautiful day for riding around. If you're into water sports, Fishhook has got you covered. From kayaking and sailing to snorkeling and even stand-up paddleboarding, there's something for everyone. The calm waters of the bay make it an ideal spot for these activities. And for those interested in fishing, the area offers great opportunities for both shore and boat fishing. Well, 
Welcome to Fishhook! Fishhook's history dates back to the early 1800s when it was just a fishing village. The valley here is nestled between the mountains and the ocean, offering stunning views and a unique sense of tranquility. This area has been inhabited for thousands of years, with evidence of prehistoric human activity found in the Pierre's cave, located in the nearby mountains. One of my favorite spots here in Fishhook is the Jager's Walk, a scenic coastal path that runs along the rocky coastline. It's a great place for a leisurely walk, offering breathtaking views of False Bay and the chance to spot some marine life. Keep an eye out for the Cape Clawless Otters that are often seen playing along the shore. Fishhook is known for its strong sense of community. The village vibe is very welcoming, with plenty of local shops, cafes and restaurants to explore. The lifestyle here is laid back and family friendly, making it a perfect place to unwind and enjoy the simple pleasures of life. Okay, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed part 1 of my ride around the peninsula. In the next episodes I'll be driving through Simonstown and the Cape of Good Hope. Keep an eye out for the next episodes coming soon.